Ready to go now. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Javier Vasquez. Wow, nice play. Throws from his knees. And that's a great play for the out. Jose Caballero coming into the game now is the injury replacement. Brendan Donovan now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. This one in the air. Paredes under it. Corrals it. That's out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And it's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Next offering is in for a strike. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. A couple of singles back to back. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Right through there for a strike. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series, so if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. And that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And the batter will be the shortstop. Oswald Peraza. That clips his zone. 0 oh 2. Chris, you and I have gotten to work some memorable postseason games together. One I look back on 2013 ALCS Game 2, the David Ortiz Grand Slam. Jason Dominguez in the box now. No balls in a strike. Fall off foul. For me, Boo, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL wildcard game. The Kansas City Royals hosted the Oakland A's. The Royals come from behind to win in extra innings and move on to the division series. They had such a swing at a minute. Top half of the third inning and stepping in for the Yankees, Tyler Stevenson. Yo, one. And there's the strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. Vasquez, batting with one down, takes a strike. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. So up next, Brendan Donovan. And first offering is fouled off. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Paredes drifts towards it, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. Game one of the division series. Now it's going to be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Right through there for a strike. There's a good feel in the ballpark. Again, that's what you expect when the home side has the lead in game one. This energy is going to keep building with every out. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And Judge spoils that one. Righty delivers. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. In the air, right side. Green settles under it. And there's two down. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Oswald Peraza. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Peraza in his seventh season, 28 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Slings the first. That's out number three. Back now in Tampa Bay. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for the Yankees, Jason Dominguez. Paredes makes the catch for the out, and there's one away. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. The Yankees down by a run here in game one of the ALDS. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Gets a piece and stays alive. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Right through there, got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one.
Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, that's ball one. Got him swinging. And yeah, we're back. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the veteran outfielder, Chaz McCormick. On the ground, right side, gathers and throws the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Brendan Donovan in the box now. No balls and a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Chisholm snags it on the run. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., that swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Got him. And good work there as he gets a... Back at Yankee Stadium. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And Judge spoils that one. The atmosphere around postseason baseball, there really isn't anything like it in the sport. It's the time of year where the rally towels come out and the crowd energy gets cranked up even higher. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. You look up in the stands in games like this, you just see a giant mass of color. Got him! Bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Jason Dominguez. Right through there for a strike. Strike two. Ground ball up the middle, and that chance handled. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Here is Yohan Moncada. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And it's even up. And strike two. This one popped up. Settles under this one. Makes the grab one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance speed. There's one. And that's two. Game four of the division series. Now, here is Chaz McCormick and a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And a swing and a miss. I love the fact that we've seen both Vladimir Guerrero and Vladdy Jr. win the home run derby. They're the first father-son duo to ever win it. Vladdy back in 2007 and Vladdy Jr. in 2023. Even though his dad didn't give him any advice for the event other than to go out there and hit home runs. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's nothing in two. The Yanks trailing by two here in game four. Next pitch is downstairs. Got it by him for the K. Back here in New York.
Here's the veteran second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. That one finds the zone, and the series is underway. There's a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bounce to the left side. Fires over to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Two outs, base is empty. So now it's Corey Seager. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Next offering upstairs. Two outs, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Swing and a miss. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now here is Jason McCabe. Swing and a miss, strike one. Gotta love the intensity of postseason baseball. Players on both sides at such a high level of emotion, everything is amplified. 0 1 now. Struck him out looking. And first offering is fouled off. Talk about that intensity, boo. It comes out of everybody. Think about celebrating. And down on. Back here at Tropicana Field, new inning getting started. Now it's the veteran outfielder, James Outman. Splits the plate, and the count is 0-2. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Got him, swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Chase DeLauder. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. The Rays up by two. Here in game one of the ALCS. Game one of the... chat about as we look at the final numbers but this was a good one yeah it was a low scoring game boo but sometimes We go to the bottom of the first, and now Ezekiel Duran right through there for a strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. And first offering is fouled off. And a big swing and a miss. One out, base is empty. Ground ball right side. He takes it on his own. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Corey Seager stands in now and watches strike one. And that's in there at the knees. Swings and misses. Back in Arlington, bottom half of inning number two. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jason McCabe. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. The pressure is high for the players in the postseason but maybe even higher for the managers. Every decision you make is critical to the success of the team and to your own reputation. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and a count is 0-2. Well, for better or worse, managers are remembered for what they do in the postseason. Pull the right strings, they might build a statue of you someday. One bad decision, and you might be updating your resume. You've got to be sharp. He deals. Swing and a miss. As we go. Congratulations to the American League champions. These players have worked hard all 
all season long, and their hard work has paid off. Now, off to the World Series. This team can't wait. Here's the veteran shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. That one finds the zone, and the World Series is underway. Next offering is outside. And there's a ball. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And there's one down. Michael Harris in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a pop up under this one. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Foul ball, it stays nothing and two. The pitch. That misses the zone, and a count one and two. Triple digits. New inning getting started. Here's Matt Olson. That one fouled off. Inside, just missed. There's a good feel in the ballpark, and that's what you expect when the home side has the lead in game one. This energy is going to keep building with every out. Foul ball still one and two count. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. Austin Riley stands in now and watches strike one. Well, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you've got to be locked in. Can't make a mistake that cost your team the season. Ozzy Albies in the box now. No balls and a strike. Goes down looking. Top half of the third inning, and now it's the Braves DH, Sean Bouchard. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. 0-2. This to third. Paredes. Rolls across the diamond. One up, one down. Well, our scorecards are a mess after this one as we look at the final line. Yeah, we're going to have to break out that old graphing calculator. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. That one fouled off. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for Korea. This one in the air center field. Chisholm pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. Michael Harris now in the box comes up empty with a swing there that one finds the zone and it's nothing in two one out base is empty this one in the air puts it away for the out and there are two down Ronald Acuna Jr. stands in now and watches strike one That misses. Nope. And a count one and two. And down on strike. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Matt Olson. And it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. Popped up. Paredes has this one sized up, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. That's out number two. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is nasty for. As we go to the last of the third. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Kevin Parada. You know, these Braves definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Jose Azuc. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these players. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when they return. Here's Tyler O'Neill and the pitch. And that one a little below the knees. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Chop left side. Rincon sends it across the first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two away. Bobichet now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Oh, got him looking. That's a. And we're back. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Swings through that one for strike one. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. Struck him out looking. And that one fouled off. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the catch. Two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he's going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. No score here in the second. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. And down on strikes. And welcome back. Number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck. Here's the left fielder, Javier Vasquez. Strike one. Bounce 
gets to third. In plenty of time to first, and a quick out number one. Now the number two hitter, Brendan Donovan. And first offering is fouled off. Fouled back our way, and that's out of play. On the ground to third. Paredes fires over to first. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, bro. Things change. And a swing and a miss. Bottom of the second. Here comes Aaron Judge. This one popped up. Williams under this one. Makes the catch. Then there's one down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his back the way it did earlier in the regular season. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Akil Badu at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder. Swing and a miss. Back to the Bronx. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around. Here's the veteran shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. And that's outside. And we are underway. On its way to the corner, Green going after it. He's got it. One away. Here's the veteran outfielder, Michael Harris. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And there are two down. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. He wrote a terrific piece before the season that detailed his love for baseball. Yeah, he and his friends would play at the beach in a huge lot behind the hospital or out on the street. All they needed was a newspaper and some tape, and they were ready for a game. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Right through there for a strike. Ooh, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. Got it. And there's one down. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. He goes down looking. Two outs, space is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Kevin Parada. Two outs. That one fouled off. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's and there's the third out. Three. And welcome back.
And we're back. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Foul ball there. Swings through that. Oh, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. One out, base is empty. Right side, Shanowell. He handles it himself. Two up, two down. Charlie Easton digs in now. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. Bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Smith, in his seventh season, more than 100 career wins on the mound. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Foul tip into the mitt, struck him out. This to third, Kranz. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. And here's the veteran. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line. All right, ready to go here. Here's Kyle Tucker. Foul ball there. Here comes the one. A little out front there as he swings through it. High fly ball, right field. Carroll should have this one. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Wyatt Lankford in the box now. No balls and a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One out, base is empty. Out to short. Throws the first in time. Here's Riley Green. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Next offering is in for a strike. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. And we're back. Second inning. Certainly can't complain about a lack of action in this one. A high scoring game. Purists might not love it, but pretty impressive showing at the plate. From And now for the Twins, Ken David. And a pitch. Fought off foul. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. Caught him looking for the game. Now at the plate, Miguel Vargas. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Way high. Next pitch is outside. One out, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Brandon Marsh in the box now. No balls and a strike. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Carroll ranging back. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Here in the desert. The 
this team secures a winning season with the W today, and regardless of what else happens the rest of the way, you know that you're a winning ball club. So a little bit of... Ready to go now. So in now for Colorado, Chad Fraser. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that's up onto the walkway and out of here. Base is empty with two away. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Brendan Rogers. Bounced up the middle. He is safe, and he beats the thrill by a whisker. Hunter Bishop now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And a big swing and a miss. Got him looking. And, he did. and welcome back. To Three to the final score. A one run extra inning win for Chris. All right, ready to go here. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Strike two. Oh, he got away with a mistake right there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. This was a good one. Yeah, it was a low scoring game, Boo, but sometimes. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Ellie De La Cruz. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The punch out there, one out. Brady House now at the plate as he swings through strike one. One out, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Ground ball right side, Castro. On to first, St. Louis goes down. Back here in St. Louis, and now the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. That one finds the corner, and the count is 0-2. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. Up the middle, Castro sends it to first. That's one out the bottom of the
Now it's the DH, Ernesto Gallegos. Swings and misses. 4 1. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Foul ball. Here comes the 0 1. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Two outs. Base is empty. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Luis Robert. There's the strike. And down on strikes. Back here in L.A., bottom of the inning. Bo Naylor at the plate now. There's the strike. Right hater deals. And down on. <laughs> strikes. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling. Stepping in for San Diego, Pablo Cortez splits the plate, and that's how this game gets started. Comes up empty. Swings and misses. One up, one down. Pablo Chavis, batting with one down, takes a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. And the batter now, Jalen Palmer. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Right down the shoot. Oh, a two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll. And we're back. Three. Oh, really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out and, you know, from the first game of this series, really had a determination. Now it's the second baseman, Paul Mooney. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Clips the corner. That is strike two. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Art Gonzalez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. The Diamondbacks up by a run here in game one of this three-game set. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. O'Neill Cruz in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Right through there for a strike. At the belt and fires. Got him. Back here at PN. First game.
game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own. Bottom of the first, here's Bubba Thompson. Chris, he's definitely going to finish the year with a new career high in homers. We just don't know how many he's going to hit quite yet. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Bounced up the middle. Acuna tosses the first, one up, one down. Terrence Foster steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Up the middle, on the run, sends it over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Luis Robert now. And that's in for a strike. 0-2 oh now as he swings through it. Struck him out. Back here in L.A., bottom half of inning number two. Bo Naylor at the plate now. There's the swing and a miss. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. No score here in the second. and miss struck him out back here at Dodger the ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house I mean it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Edge of the zone for a strike, and we're off and running in a brand new season. Caught him looking for the K. And now Heston Kerstad. A big swing and a miss. One out, base is empty. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Kicks and deals. Way out front for strike two. Got him. Strikes out the. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Jamie Farr Smith. It is ninth season. More than 100 career wins on the mound. And of course, He's the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Rip towards third. 
to first oh. and a couple of quick outs. And that one fouled off. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Newt Bar makes the play, and it's out of the third inning. And to the play for Kansas City, Gavin Cross. Fall off foul. Way upstairs. win by six runs always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals you want to keep that momentum going And now for the Marlins, Neville Hoffman. That one fouled off. 0-1 now. Right through there for a strike. Got it by him for the pay. Now, Sal Fraley. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering in there for a strike. That is strike two. That one way inside. One out, base is empty. The punch out there, two away. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And ball one. Ooh, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. Fouls one off, two and two. Two out, space is empty. Got it. Strike. Here in Cleveland. You can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series.